Hey everyone, Bella Carey with KAB Tricks. Hello. Where are we at, huh? What are we doing? We are in St. Paul, Minnesota. We are on Harriet Island and we are about ready to take a sightseeing cruise. All right, we're going to head down the uh, dock here or the ramp. And uh, they said keep to the left, so there's actually two boats down here. I uh, got one over here and then they got a paddle boat over here. But I think we're going to go down this way. All right, here we are on the Betsy Northrop. And uh, lower area and Carrie wants to go up top. Here's kind of what we're seeing on the upper deck. They got uh, chairs along the sides and they have some tables. So this is not assigned seating? Not assigned seating. Okay, just wherever you want and then we can probably move around throughout the cruise. I would assume so. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. No, we haven't. It's been a while since we've done something like this. We've never done this one before. Never done this on the Mississippi yeah. out in Minnesota, but we have in other states. Yeah. So we're not sure yet, but uh, they have two boats going. The paddle boat here looks like it's for uh, a dinner cruise. Ours does not have dinner included. Uh, but uh, over here on the dock, they have these. This is um, for uh, the dock. It goes up when, um, uh, if the water goes up and it goes down, if the water goes down. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here for a second. On the post here, they have markers. And you can see dates. And um, I'm pretty sure that those are supposed to show the water heights at certain points uh, throughout, you know, the years when the, the river crested uh, at different points. And can't really see all the dates from this side, uh, but there's like uh, June 28th, 2019 there, uh, 2011, so uh, whenever it's really flooded, they put markers there. They can see how much higher the water has been, and in fact, it would be enough to uh, flood the island, because you can see those are clearly above, right about eye level here now, or just below eye level is the uh, ground level for the park on the island and those markers are clearly way above that. The uh, paddle boat is taking off and we are pulling off too. You can see us moving. Yeah, and that's the warning that we're moving. We got uh, audio recordings telling us the story of the Mississippi. Yes. Reminds me of being in Hannibal, Missouri. <laughs> So it seems like we're turning around and we're going to go the direction I'm pointing now. So we're at the uh, front of the ship. Okay, we are now heading south along the Mississippi River. And uh, if you do not know this, this is technically a national park in the Mississippi River, at least this area. It kind of goes down to, I think, uh, Red Wing up north. I forget how far north it goes. And we're heading south. Very peaceful, calm waters today. Not a lot of traffic out here. So on the uh, left side of the ship, the port side, I'm talking about caves. And the caves, uh, they did mushroom farming. Yep. And... And Roquefort cheese. Cheese. Yes. Which is, the, the little tidbit was, so Roquefort is also blue cheese. And you can't call it Roquefort here in the United States. That's a name that is central only to France. Oh, so, so that's why it's sparkling blue cheese? <laughs> Something like that. So that's why we have it. It's called blue cheese here because we couldn't have the name. But apparently, uh, St. Paul at one point in time was the blue cheese capital of the world back in the 30s. Sparkling blue cheese. Sparkling blue cheese, along with that champagne. Champagne, yes. <laughs> champagne. I didn't realize you were such a coin sewer. Uh, up ahead is uh, another boat uh, for uh, dinner cruise or sightseeing or whatever um, coming up back north. So that is a paddle boat for the tour. And as we pass, uh, you can see the paddle boat, the paddle for the paddle boat in the back there. That's uh, we're talking old school there. <laughs> That's a Jonathan Paddleford. This is the Omaha Swing Bridge. Uh, they use it for the railroad. And this actually swings and connects to the rest of the bridge here. This was built over 100 years ago in uh, 1915. But yeah, when a train comes by, it just it swings out uh, and connects. As we go by, you can see uh, how it connects there. So that's the track. There we go. 
kind of an interesting uh, piece of engineering. And the tree up there, you can see uh, a bald eagle's nest. Uh, we have not seen any activity, but uh, just massive. And uh, there actually tend to be generational nests where it'll be years and years uh, and generations of uh, eagles will occupy the same nest. Going to take a second to walk around the ship a little bit. And we're in the back. Looks like we got a bar area that's not being occupied right now. Also, a smoking area. We went to the back. So they actually have this as a barge that has been redecorated. And then they have an old towboat or a push boat that is leading it. And then in the back there, you can see that's the other paddle boat that uh, left right about the time we did. Going to go down the steps here. And you can see the uh, push barge a little bit better so yeah we don't have our own motor so we're a motor without a motor and this is lower area enclosed it's air conditioning so it's a lot cooler down here and in the back they have a bar and get tranks food well, you're seeing a lot of people fishing on the uh, shoreline uh, there's a bunch of uh, uh, parks along the uh, river that uh, you can go and fish from, park at. And then up here is uh, Highway 5 that's going over the uh, river and to the left, it's kind of hard to see, and I'm zoomed in all the way on this lens, uh, is historic Fort Snelling uh, up, on the, uh, up on the ridge on the top of the hill. Uh, I'm switching lenses so you can see better, but that's uh, part of Fort Snelling up there, that building with those chimneys. As we reach uh, historic Fort Snelling, it is actually time for us to turn around. Turn around. Every now and then you got to go back the other way because you can only go so far. <laughs> turn around. So part of my confusion was my Jeep, my uh, compass said we were going south. We were actually going north because we're going toward Minneapolis, which is actually, I should say, upriver. So when I said south, we were actually going upriver not south like toward Mississippi so sure. yeah confusion there because I didn't realize that that the river kind of makes this weird like u-turn through St. Paul down down south through Minneapolis and then back up north through St. Paul and then back down south to go to Mississippi so now we're going down river sure sure I'll believe whatever you say all right, so yeah, we're just turning around midstream, so to speak. And so uh, the Fort Snelling is up here behind these trees, which cars you can't really see very well because trees. And here's the, uh, the sister ship. I don't know what you want to call it. The paddle boat that left uh, behind us, which is uh, the same uh, company that's running the boat that we're on the Anson Northrop. So that's a paddle boat and then they have a dinner cruise on there. Uh, we have food on our boat, but uh, we'd have to pay additional. There's some more of Fort Snelling. Uh, I believe those are the barracks. Uh, it's got the white building with kind of a couple chimneys throughout. All right, there's some more of uh, Fort Snelling that you can see. Uh, I believe they said that that was the, um, whose house was that? You didn't hear, okay, that's fine. It's supposed to be the, like the oldest uh, building in Minnesota, is what I thought they said on the recording. As we go back, we can see these things better. Off to the left there, that is actually the, Min the Minnesota River. So that splits off there uh, to go to the Minnesota River, and to the right it's the Mississippi River. So we stay on the Mississippi River there in time. This may be such a um, old guy statement to make, but like, how much do you pay for the view for these places? If you you're know, watching, please comment. <laughs> you know, uh, back in my day, you'd have to pay for views. <laughs> All right, we're coming back up to that uh, swing bridge, and so we're going to get a better look of it now that we're on the right, so correct side, I should say, of it. And uh, back at the end, they use this uh, concrete as a counterweight because it's longer on the one side. There's actually an interesting story that they said in the recording about why the counterweight. Uh, kind of a summary is this property over here used to be owned by a paddle boat driver. Um, and he was mad because the railroad basically put him out of business or hurt his business because they installed the railroad. So he refused to sell his property and would not let them put the swing bridge 
over his property. So as we're walking off the boats, uh, they have the uh, ticket counter in here. You can see they have different uh, water levels. So this is from 2001 and 2014. This was actually this year, 2013, uh, 2023. Um, so that's kind of interesting. But up here, the high one was from uh, April of uh, 65, well above my head. All right, so that's our evening on the... On the Betsy Paddleford, a little river cruise down the Mississippi. So this was a tour cruise. They actually have three different boats that they use for the paddle fords. Yep. And tell me, tell us about that a little bit. So they have a variety of cruises. They have daily cruises, they have dinner cruises. Um, so it looked like, so there was also, at the same time we were doing our sunset cruise, there was a boat behind us and they were doing basically the same cruise except for theirs included dinner. That was the paddle boat that you saw behind us that I yeah. pointed out a couple times. Yep. So they just have very large variety. Um, prices vary. Um, this particular cruise, it was $20 a person for us. And it was a two hour cruise. I mean, so I think that was an amazing deal. Um, they have all sorts of dinner cruises, theme cruises, margarita cruise. Mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah and they even have a season pass oh that's nice yeah so will we do it again oh yeah definitely i want to explore some of these other cruises <laughs> <laughs> okay well we want to thank you for joining us i'm bill i'm carrie if you've been watching cable trucks please do us a favor like share subscribe so we know we're out there and help the channel grow help us reach 1,000 subscribers but until next time good luck and have fun see ya